Last time we made these magnetic LED strips for my new desk. This time we're doing some wire management with these routers. What do you think? My 20 volt DeWalt batteries, problem solved. And it's okay if you use different brands of tools like Bosch or Makita, you can go on Amazon and buy battery adapters for just about any major brand that will allow you to retrofit your existing cordless batteries to a variety of different tools or applications. Just make sure to check your battery specs along with your motor specs to ensure that you're not gonna overload the circuit. Here is an inexpensive hack to enhance your home. These battery operated peel off and stick strip lights can improve the appearance of your kitchen space, your TV space, and the motion sensor option makes them ideal as a nightlight for your stairs, your closet, and your bathroom. And so you don't trip over at night, they're ideal for your bedroom as well. So are these something you need or don't?
The most common rookie mistake I see when it comes to rolling is they roll when it's too dry. So let me show you. First, when you're dipping your paint, you don't want to be done here. This is what it should look like, totally soaking wet. You'll notice I get so much more coverage, and then the second it gets dry, I dip again. Don't wait. What's up guys, so here's a quick tip on how I prep my tray. I start by cutting a piece of plastic and laying it on top of the tray. Then I grab my paint and I pour it into the tray to make sure that it sits in there and hold that plastic down. If you don't fold the paint or have something heavy holding down that plastic, what's gonna happen is that once you start rolling, the sides of the plastic are gonna break and then you're gonna lose a lot of paint. Then I grab my tape, I wrap it nice and tight around that tray. I grab my utility knife and I cut that overhang. All the edges around that tray. You don't want to have that hanging once you're hanging. And there it is, you guys. Save you a lot of money on buying those uh, cover trays. I hope this helps and follow me for more tips. I don't know what kind of witchcraft I just stumbled upon, but I had to share it. I'm sure you have plates that look like this after years of use, and today I discovered Barkeeper's Friend. Sprinkle a little bit on your plates, add a little bit of water to make it a slurry, and let it sit there for a couple of minutes and watch the magic happen. I forgot the gloves, bad call, so I put them on, and then I grabbed the sponge and used a little bit of elbow grease and literally watched as all those marks just wiped right off. These plates are 16 years old and I was gonna get rid of them, but no way, not after this magic. Off to do the rest of them.
a sleeping bag that can fit in the palm of my hand. It's an emergency sleeping bag that's ultra light, waterproof, and made of thermal mylar, which reflects 90% of your body heat back onto yourself, so you'll never get cold. It's perfect for hiking, camping, backpacking, or unexpected cold weather, and it's tear resistant and super handy because it takes up minimal space and rolls out to be seven feet long. All right, so, no key in ignition. One, two, three, four. I don't have remote start in this truck. There is no remote start. There is no remote start box under there. What the fuck? And if you press the brake pedal, it shuts off. Huh? This is a wireless spring pad that's perfect for anyone who likes being organized. To use it, you first install the blank labels and turn it on. You then use an app to design your label using text, images, or the templates provided, and when you hit print, it prints it instantly. It's great for things like shopping lists and QR codes, and it prints on sticky paper so you can stick it anywhere. Adding a laundry chute when we were building our house was one of the best decisions we made. It makes life so much easier when my kids can just change, throw their laundry down the bin, and I can put it straight into the washer. No more running around the house trying to find all the dirty laundry. lived in this rental home for almost a year and a half now. And to be honest, I didn't even realize the grout was dirty until someone pointed it out on TikTok. So I mixed together hydrogen peroxide and baking soda and got to work with my drill. Loving it.